Hi. So we are going to watch this TikTok today um, and discuss it. This TikTok has been going around uh, radical feminist and lesbian spaces uh, because it's disgusting. So um, trigger warning for lesbophobia and misogyny, but let's watch it and then discuss it. Okay, so I know a lot of you were waiting on an update from my date last Wednesday, and I'm sorry it took so long, but, like, it just ended. Like, I'm a lesbian. Like, I showed up to that bitch's house with, like, enough resources to launch another, like, fucking crusade. Um, that might not be the best comparison to make right now. Um, but yeah, it was amazing. Like, it was my first time, like, dating as a woman, which weirdly included sending a lot more dick pics than I expected. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, it really just meant that, like, I could connect with them in a way that, like, I really couldn't with any of my exes, and it was great. Um, I also, like, had sex as a woman for the first time, which really just meant I did, didn't come. <laughs> but no, it was so good. Um, my favorite part about being trans is I can just make misogynistic jokes, and people think they're, like, ironic and self-aware, but, like, really I just hate women. Um, and it's perfect, because I hate myself, too. Like, transitioning was just a very advanced form of self-harm for me. So, let's discuss, um, where to start? First thing, like, I, oh god, I don't want, <laughs> well, guys, I kind of do. I was going to say, I'm not going to comment. My neighbor's dogs bark like this every single day multiple times a day. Let's just listen and enjoy the wonderful sounds of my life every single day throughout the day. Are they done? Okay. Back to the video. <laughs> first things first, his dick bulge is completely visible in the video so that's one thing but let's um just go through the audio of the video and discuss it we were waiting on an update from my date last wednesday and i'm sorry it took so long but like it just ended like i'm a lesbian like i showed up to that bitch no no you're not a lesbian and it's funny to me that he's trying to make a joke about how lesbian first dates last for days because you just never go home it's like buddy you can't just pick up a lesbian mad libs book and like write in your story that's not how it works um i don't believe this for a second he he's just relying on lesbian stereotypes and uh putting himself into there anyway continuing on that bitch's house with like enough resources to launch another like fucking crusade uh I showed up to that bitch's house. Imagine any lesbian talking about the girl she's dating in that way. I showed up to that bitch's house. Mm, okay. <sighs> and then with enough resources to launch another fucking crusade. Yeah, at least he acknowledged that that was poor language choice. Um, that might not be the best comparison to make right now. Um, but yeah, it was amazing. Like, it was my first time, like, dating as a woman, which weirdly included sending a lot more dick pics than I expected. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it really just meant... Weird that no woman who has ever dated has ever sent dick pics, because no women have dick pics. No women have dicks to take pictures of to send. <laughs> anyway. But, like, I could connect with them in a way that, like, I really couldn't with any of my exes, and it was great. Um, I also, like had sex as a woman? <laughs> no, you're a man, so you can't have sex as a woman. The only way to have sex as a woman is to be a woman. Um, and then he goes on to make a joke about how the reason he had sex as a woman is because he didn't come. <laughs> and it's like, oh, sorry for the noise. Um, it's like, no, um, women who have sex with men often don't come because they 
are just being fucking pounded by a dick and that's not what gets women off so for him to make this joke that like oh i didn't come so i must be a woman it's like no you don't know how lesbians have sex you don't know how sex among women goes um nice try (laughs) the first time which really just meant i didn't didn't come (laughs) but no it was so good um my favorite part about being trans is i can just make misogynistic jokes and people think they're like ironic and stuff My favorite part about being trans is I can make misogynistic jokes and people think they're ironic and self-aware. Listen to men when they tell you who they are. (laughs) Men will tell you who they are very clearly. Aware, but like, really I just hate women. Um, and it's perfect because I hate myself too. Like, transitioning was just a very advanced form of self-harm for me. Really, I just hate women. I mean, we've been new, right? He's just saying what we have all known and said forever when it comes to these topics that men hate women and trans identified men also hate women. Um, Yet they so desperately want to be us. Isn't that ironic? (laughs) That's the ironic piece here. Um, Yeah, so I guess the ultimate point of this is just showing this video. so that more people know what we're up against not that this is really anything new for many radical feminists but this is like some of the first like very explicit take i've seen from a trans man being like i hate women (laughs) i can make misogynistic jokes like yeah i don't know it's still morning i woke up not too long ago my brain might not be awake yet (laughs) but i just wanted to share the video because it's insane Um, And at least now, well, not now, but at least there's a record of it here. And um, I think Liberated Lezzy also made a video about this. So I will link hers and you can check out hers as well. But the main point of this is just um, listen to men when they tell you who they are because they will eventually and it's never good.